After Abraham's death, Isaac was blessed by God. Rebekah, Isaac's wife, conceived and had twin sons, Esau and Jacob. Esau, the firstborn, was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, while Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. One day Esau came in from the field, faint, and asked Jacob for some pottage. Jacob said he would give it to him if Esau sold his birthright. Esau, seeing no immediate value in his birthright, agreed and swore to Jacob, thus selling his birthright for bread and pottage of lentils. There was a famine in the land, besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, in Gerar. The Lord appeared to Isaac and instructed him not to go down into Egypt, but to dwell in the land that he would tell him of. Isaac obeyed, and the Lord blessed him, making him very prosperous, which caused the Philistines to envy him. Abimelech asked Isaac to depart because he had become much mightier than they. Isaac moved and dug wells, calling them by the names his father Abraham had given them. The Lord appeared to Isaac again, reaffirming his promise to bless him. Isaac, being old and his eyes dim, called Esau, his eldest son, and asked him to hunt game and prepare a savory meal so that he might bless him before he died. Rebekah heard this and instructed Jacob to fetch two good kids of the goats. She prepared them as a savory dish and dressed Jacob in Esau's clothes. Jacob went to his father and, pretending to be Esau, received the blessing from Isaac. When Esau came in later and found out what had happened, he was very sorrowful and angry. Rebekah warned Jacob to flee to her brother Laban in Haran. Isaac called Jacob, blessed him again, and sent him to Paddan Aram to take a wife from the daughters of Laban, Rebekah's brother. On his journey, Jacob dreamed of a ladder set up on the earth, with its top reaching to heaven and angels of God ascending and descending on it. The Lord stood above it and promised Jacob the land on which he lay, and that his seed would be as the dust of the earth, blessing all the families of the earth through him and his descendants. Jacob set up a stone for a pillar, named the place Bethel, and vowed to serve God and give him a tenth of all that he would give him if God kept him in his journey. Jacob continued his journey and came to the land of the people of the east. At a well, he met Rachel, Laban's daughter, and fell in love with her. Jacob agreed to serve Laban seven years for Rachel. However, at the end of the seven years, Laban deceived Jacob by giving him his older daughter Leah instead. Jacob then agreed to serve Laban another seven years for Rachel. The Lord saw that Leah was hated and opened her womb and she bore four sons, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah.